Scott Wilson and his design firm Minimal create products for big companies like Microsoft and Nike. But when he came up with his latest invention, he decided to do something different. Well, I think when uh, Apple announced the uh, iPod Nano and uh, they mentioned it being used as a watch, I think every designer in the world probably had you know ideas right off the bat. And we designed two uh, different versions. One's uh, one that the iPod snaps into and pops out very easily mm -hmm. for um, people that want to kind of you know possibly wear it as a watch or as a clip. And um, and then we have another one that uh, more permanently turns it into a watch, which is made of metal. And it, it kind of turns it into a more of a high-end uh, multi-touch uh, watch. He then launched a page on Kickstarter.com, which allows anyone to donate money to help launch a creative project. And in just 20 days, he raised over half a million dollars. We decided to give the product as the product as the uh, pledge reward. So people are getting it for less than what it will cost at retail. Uh, for their pledge and they're helping fund uh, you know, the project and uh, get a company off the ground. How many people donated? Uh, I think we have close to 9,000 people right now that have pledged and 12,000 watches I believe now that we have to fulfill. I think the most exci exciting thing about Kickstarter and this particular project is, is it shows the potential of what you know a small group can do and raise money around an idea and I think it will probably inspire people to take it to the next level. I think you're going to see a lot of people trying to create new businesses on this kind of platform or similar platforms. Has Steve Jobs gotten in touch with you? No, but Steve Wozniak bought a 10-pack, so... Uh. <laughs> really? So how much did he donate, that means? Uh, that was the $500 or more level, yeah. So he was number 95 out of the 100, uh, $500 packages. Uh, we sold through the $500 packages in two days. You can still donate and snag your watch by December 16th. Otherwise, expect to see the watches on sale online or at a retailer near you soon. For CBSNews.com, I'm Shira Lazar.